SCP-784, Object Class Euclid, Presumed Neutralized. Special Containment Procedures. Description. SCP-784 is the remains of Agent A, blank, A, blank, officially killed in action by data expunged. During recovery operations at Prometheus Labs, blank, Agent A, blank, actually survived his injuries and was approved to undergo enhancement by SCP-212. Unusually enough, SCP-212 chose not to repair A. Blank's extensive injuries, including traumatic amputation of all four limbs, or to remove a shard of data expunged that had become lodged in Agent A's cerebellum. Instead, SCP-212 integrated the shard of circuitry more completely into Agent A's brain and performed a stag standard organ maintenance. Said shard of circuitry immediately began to repair itself and repair replace Agent A's glial cells, leaving the neurons intact. Upon replacing the entirety of Agent A's neurologic neuroglia, said circuit circuitry bored several holes through the back of his skull, then removed the entirety of the parietal and occipital bones and replaced them with reinforced metal plating. Agent A was then declared KIA and reclassified as 784. SCP-784 consists of two components. The biological portion consists of the Agent A's neurons, spinal cord, and portions of his cranium and vertebra. The remainder of his body became necrotic over time, and was debrided to prevent infection from spreading. The second component is made up of a nanomachine colony, and takes the form of a network of steel and silicon tendrils emerging from the back of Agent A's skull and spine. The mechanical portion of SCP-7084 has shown itself capable of reforming into a variety of different forms, including, but not limited to, cutting tools, prehensile tendrils, interf interfaces, for electronic devices and molecular assemblers. SCP-784 is capable of breaking down and incorporating any silicon or metal object into, into its nanomachine network, and has shown a capacity for integrating electronic devices as well. Non-metallic or silicon-based items can be broken down, but are not easily integrated. Addendum. Following the ev events of Redacted, the remaining 0.5 liters of nanomaterial recovered from the late Director Valentine are all that remain. The nanomachine colony shows two weaknesses. First, individual nanomachines cannot function without a physical connection to the biological portion. Secondly, exposure to heat above 100 degrees Celsius, or certain solvents, will cause the nanomachines to denature in a manner similar to proteins. A 100% acetone solution has shown to be both effective and easy to obtain in large quantities, and has been selected as the containment medium. Despite its nature, SCP-784 is normally not hostile to life except as a means of nourishing its biological component. The only casualties inflicted by SCP-784 were caused before a means of communication could be established, and the need for a nutrient bath were known. In that incident, SCP-784 attacked and entangled the Class D personnel inspecting its containment cell, and proceeded to liquefy a portion of its flesh, converting it to a nutrient solution, which it then administered to its biological component.